Oh, hey. What's going on, man? How are you? Uh, not so good. Oh, I'm sorry, man. What's going on? Where do I even start? My dog died. My house burned down. My family hates me. My girlfriend left me. I lost my job. And I have this rash. I'm home. Honey! I just made a patch. Do you want to hear it? It sounds like stinky farts! Oh, hey, Eli. What's up, man? How's it going? Hey, how are you? I heard you needed to talk to me about something. <sighs> yeah, man, it's not good. I just got a call from the doctor this week. I've got the restless leg, dude. I've got it bad. Oh, no. They said I've only got a couple of weeks, man. I don't know what I'm going to do. Ah, oh, that sucks. Who's going to get your sense? What are you doing? Hey, you're here. I've quit making music. I'm a master sculptor now. What do you think? This looks like a five-year-old made it. Wow. You need a filter. Introducing the Zero HP Filter. Lots of character for such a small size. A blend of our AND gate and low pass gate circuits, this module offers audio rate modulation of both the cutoff frequency and the timbre clamping circuit, allowing for voltage controlled distortion approximating the sound of resonance. From plucky filter sweeps to complex wave shaping, the Zero HP Filter has you covered. Here is a quick sweep of the cutoff frequency while filtering a sawtooth. On our scope, the input signal is green and the output signal is blue. You will notice that even with the frequency all the way down, we are still hearing a signal. Watch as I apply a voltage to the timbre input and sweep the frequency again. Here we have a virtually unaltered input. Now as I reduce the voltage applied to the timbre input, we will start to see some clipping. This can lead to some interesting filter behavior when both parameters are modulated. Here is a looping envelope modulating the cutoff. And here is a sine wave LFO modulating the timbre. Now let us hear this patch with some audio rate modulation. Here the frequency input is being modulated by another sawtooth VCO.
and here it is being used for tamper modulation. If we modulate both inputs with audio rate oscillators, complex cross-modulation can be achieved. Well folks, the votes are in, and the zero HP filter is the best thing since buffered multiples. Whether you are making wobble bass lines or bending time and space with audio rate filter modulation, the zero HP is a must have for the discerning synthesizer enthusiast. Don't wait, put a zero HP filter in your signal chain today.